I think I would be Casey since I'm the one who wears a mask. Yeah, that makes sense. Adam, you're Michelangelo. Because you sure shit ain't no Dante. Warning! Caffeinated Conquest features adult nerds using adult language. Seriously, don't say we didn't warn you. <laughs> but I'm not stupid. <laughs> I, will, I, will, I will go first. Okay. As you approach, the first ones to catch your presence are the, the lupus themselves. And they, and they immediately jolt in your direction. <laughs> Start growling up on all fours. The hommets sort of turn, look concerned. They grab at their weapons, but they don't quite draw them yet. I will take my sword with the sheath and just, like, put it in front of me. And I'll say, we're not here to fight. We're here to parley. We believe we have something you want. They begin growling at each other in what you assume is a different language. Well, a very... Ah, uh, yes, I started <coughs> speaking French again. <laughs> a sort of grizzled, muscular man with his shirt open, just this rippling six-pack, approaches and says, You're either very brave or very stupid, but we're willing to hear you out. I have in my possession something of yours, and I'll take out the fetish. And they immediately, like, get ready to go. You break it in half. (laughs) (laughs) Now, you might think I stole this. I did not. It was placed in my home after some burglarizing. Lies! We know of you, Murphy Fierro. You are nothing but an engine of deceit and destruction. My name's not Murphy. He signed the letter, Murphy Fierro. (laughs) You remember the letter you (laughs) left? I didn't say Murphy Fierro had the finish. I blamed him for the murder. That's right, I think... Oh, okay. Yeah, in Griffith Park, where that sacrifice happened. Do they acknowledge the letter and what I said in it, though? Uh, it's... They... they words got no. Okay. Yeah, I'm not Murphy. Murphy Fierro is an Italian man. This man is from... <laughs> Iran. Iran. From Middle Eastern land. <laughs> Arabia. <laughs> They can't be trusted, says another one. This one reeks of the worm, and this one abandoned his humanity a long time ago. Activating Mm -hmm. presence. Charisma performance. I'm going to spend a willpower. Okay. At least one of them will listen to me with presence. Let's see how many more. I will have one success. That's one success total. One success. I'm going to look at them and say, I don't appreciate you making judgments before you even got a chance to know us. We know of your kind, the leech. We know you are inherently deceitful. What would you say to us? I would say that I've met some of your kind before, and they were actually quite nice. <laughs> they they will stay quiet at that conference. <laughs> <laughs> Like, this truth is <laughs> How completely idiotic do you think we'd have to be to approach you within the confines of your own sanctuary in order to pick a fight? Perhaps you can't tell the difference between us and the Black Spirals, Leech. No. Well, that's true. What's a Black Spiral? <laughs> I'm assuming a Black Spiral was a bad thing, and if you were a bad thing, they might have just attacked us on sight. You didn't do that. <laughs> you guys... Which one seems to be enamored with me at the moment? Uh, one of the wolves. Okay. It's uh, like just, just panting at you and it's like full red rocket. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm like, he seems to get it. Uh, now, I've been looking for a way. That's the menace. He's slow. <laughs> I've, I've been looking for a way to return this to you, as it is not mine. And there's been some... Bad blood. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to avoid saying that. There's been some conflict that has arisen because of this. It seems our own prince is trying to play us against you all. I don't know if you like being manipulated by vampires any more than we ourselves do. Ooh, that's a good one. I'm going to give you a... Uh, let's go with a manipulation empathy. 
Oh god. Oh, I have man. This one has empathy. This is a different character. <laughs> I have empathy. This isn't my demon. <laughs> I can empathize. I understand. I can. Yes. One, two, three, four successes. One four of successes. Ten. Okay, so as you say that, you. It's almost like the internal monologue of C -c combo. <laughs> you know, uh, you. Mark Zantz knows yeah, and he's got the audience on his side, and now that they're 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 starting to listen, their their ears are perked up, they're focusing oh on. Oh my you. god, Murphy will need to burn things down. <laughs> if we send them the werewolves, they'll burn things down. It'd be great if I can get this. One. What's our prince's name again? Don Sebastian Juan Dominguez. Our prince Don Sebastian Juan Dominguez seems to think himself masters of both the kindred ourselves as well as the lupines you all. And he seems to think that he can take things from you, place them upon us, so he can thin out your herd by using what little resources and powers we have against you. When we have no intention of fighting you, that would be absolutely foolish. <laughs> You're stupid. <laughs> fighting werewolves, that'd be stupid. We'd get ourselves killed. <laughs> and like, I understand that we have an innate condition that some of us were forced into. We don't like doing what we have to do. <laughs> we, so most of us try to live a life taking only what we need from what is available to us. And we're not completely heartless. What is your humanity? My humanity is six. Does that register as worm? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I may not be human, but I care about things. This one seems to be telling the truth. I'm like, I'm sure you could smell if I wasn't. Go I can on. smell your lies. <laughs> like, is that racist? <laughs> it's like, this is just dipped down. I like, I think that was racist. <laughs> I'm like, you may know of things going on in the city, the rampant devouring of people. This isn't exactly <laughs> those of us performing those actions, but our prince allowing some of his own kind to do this. I tried to stop it. I killed him. Okay, no, I didn't kill him. <laughs> You pushed him to a bus. Oh, <laughs> uh, you Batman killed him. <laughs> like I said, we don't like being pawns of our prince any more than you do. It's not as though all of us follow him blindly. So then what would you ask of us? I'm not asking anything of you. I'm asking that, if anything, that as much as we would appreciate your help in trying to overthrow a vampire government, I think I'm going too far in asking such a thing, but perhaps reconsider what information you are getting at face value. Not all of us are the monsters that you like to think of us. Some of us try to hold on to what little humanity was left to us after our change. <laughs> Start tearing up. <laughs> tears of blood. Bloody tears for Castlevania. <laughs> As I'm sure you're not all noble warriors, I'm sure some of you might have different inclinations. Such as your black spiral dancers. It would be wrong of me to judge you all based on their actions. <laughs> Fighting racism. <laughs> You've made your point, vampire, and what brings you to us tonight? You've come to return the fetish then? Oh, yes. I also I'd like my camel back. <laughs> <laughs> In our society, we <laughs> trade for camels. You know, you, taking camels will get you beheaded. And tell us why we should return one of Gaia's creatures to a vampire who's poisoned it with their blood. Because that is the closest thing I have to a friend. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to, I want to just like take the fucking camel. <laughs> And may God have mercy on your soul. Uh, give me a charisma empathy. <laughs> no successes. I'm like, if I'm gonna step in and say, if he has tainted it with its blood, chances are the moment it stops getting it, it's gonna turn into dust. There's a more natural state for it than this unholy life. True, but it's going to go through some withdrawals, and it won't be pretty. 
Okay, so because you have won the werewolves to your side through excellent role playing and excellent rolls, there is a chance you could get the camel back, but you might you you start with your art of the deal. You start getting the sense you might have to sweeten the pot. Uh, what is it that you could offer the werewolves? Yeah, we know where the primogen are gonna be. <laughs> Kill all of them but the French one, please, and the Scotsman. <laughs> well, the Scotsman's not a primogen. Well, he's gonna be there at the meeting, I think. Yeah. We could do that. In exchange for the camel, what we are currently trying to do is remove one of our kind from your lands as of now. Oh. We're listening. Uh, one of our elders is currently hiding out here in the surrounding desert. We don't know where she is. And we wish to simply remove her back to the city. Where she will face judgment. The Garu Nation knows of your elder vampire, and we know where she lies. We have an understanding with her, despite what happened at Griffith Park. Despite? What happened at Griffith Park? Uh, she had to leave Griffith Park because she was on the outs with the werewolves. Yeah, I knew that. JJ didn't know that. We simply wish to find her and speak to her, so... Like I told him, try to remove her from here and get her back to the city. And then that's one less one of our taint, which is residing within your precious lands. Hmm. Very well. We will return your gold camel to you. <laughs> in exchange for the fetter. And your agreement that you will not take up arms to obstruct the Garo Nation. That would be foolish and unwise. I mean, I'm gonna go along with them. I'm like, yeah. What about the Black Sky Little Gangsters? <laughs> They're not the Garo Nation. <laughs> I'm like, well, would you kindly point us in the right direction where she is? Over the ridge, about a mile that way. She, they, they will hand you back the camel. But I warn you, should you mistreat this animal or your agreement, Gaia's vengeance is swift. We will do our best to remove our elder from your presence. And he's probably talking more about the yeah. not fucking with yeah. werewolves thing. But... I, I will be yucky. We will. <laughs> <laughs> One's already rearing to go. <laughs> oh man, get, you can get Betty, make some money. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Bob? You ever say that one? If Adam was there, he might have just started sucking the dick. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to be rude. <laughs> we have no intention of interfering with your people's matters. If anything, it keeps us from doing anything unseemly out here. And from hiding out here. <laughs> but if you need anything, just give us a call. <laughs> you want to hang out? Despite our differences, I hope we can continue to parlay rather than resort to violence. You have a ways to go before the Garo will consider your kind friend. However, for you three individuals, you may consider us on speaking terms with this pack. Should you need me by name, I am Mark Zantz. My grandfather told me stories about you. <laughs> And I am Frederick Runs for the North Star. Come on, come on. Instantly improvised pack name. Come on. Uh... Well, Wolf Piss is taken. <laughs> <laughs> the pack name of the Fist? <laughs> of the North Star? <laughs> <laughs> that was Frederick. Yes, Frederick Runs for the North Star. And, you know, he will call himself an Arun of Yuktena, which blah, 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 you don't know what any of that means. <clears throat> you know, the pack's it. name is... Dust, the Dust Talons, yes. Dust T or Dust K? Dust T. Oh, okay. 
All right, back to B team. <laughs> <clears throat> While we're parlaying with werewolves and doing cool shit, <laughs> Murphy's injecting drugs into a fucking rabbit. I don't got any animals. <laughs> You're in the desert to find some. <laughs> <laughs> like, we found a camel, guys. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> if the werewolves found out what you were doing with gerbils. <laughs> <laughs> or that cat. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> but, but it's a cat that they're like, uh, how'd I come in? All right, so we are driving out towards the location that they told us they were going. Uh, You're going to drive that way, that way? Yeah. Guess we were meeting up after we figured out what we were doing. I think we told you all we were going to meet up at McNeil's. McNeil's. Oh, McNeil's? And then we were going to head into the Mexican desert. Okay. But but so y'all went for drugs. You know, drugs. He needed a gun or some shit and some necromantic bullshit. <sighs> yeah, so I guess we'll just drive out to the desert where I assume these guys headed off after they went to McNeil's. Okay, I would like a uh, perception drive for Murphy Fierro. Hey, where's he going? Oh man, if the werewolves see them and we see them at the same time, I'm not gonna. I will like, fucking <laughs> throw you under the bus. <laughs> I am not gonna leave this camel. <laughs> hey, hey, let's go blow something else up. <laughs> what is Murphy's humanity? Two. Oh, oh, two humanity? No, my humanity is four. Oh, okay. Oh. Five, I got two successes. Okay, so as you're driving by, there's no lights, there's nothing, there's shit out here. So the moon ahead is just like like a spotlight. You're bound to the cornfields in Halloween, you can see for a fucking mile under that basket. Yeah. So, yeah, and as you're driving and just sort of going, you see, damn this thing, it looks like Betty just standing out there in the middle of the nowhere... Holding like her gun and a oh. like something in her arms. So this is where Murphy dies. So <laughs> 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 I got fucking uh, Prince of Persia deaths, like, and that's how my story ends. So, like, oh wait, no, I, I'm mixing that up with something. Uh, I, I slow to a stop, kind of perpendicular with her in the road. Oh uh, well, she's not near the road. She's about a mile off. Oh, that far? All well, right. yeah, but you can you can see her because there's nothing there. All right. So, uh, I will come to a slow and... Is that Betty? <laughs> no, that'd be stupid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, Betty Boop. All right, let's go. I'm going to stop the car here on the road. Okay. And then just tell Carla to get out. Sally, uh, you want to come along? Uh, well, it's not nice to keep a lady waiting, darling. Uh, of course not, but they... Of course not. We get out the car, turn it off. And... You know what? You're welcome because I'm, I'm choosing not to re roll her obfuscate every time. She could be just different fucking levels of fucked up. <laughs> I, got, I got five successes, which is why she's fucking perfect. She could look awesome by me talking like this the whole time. So, Does obfuscating her voice? Ah, <laughs> oh, just like my mother. <laughs> Alright, um, yeah, we're gonna turn off the car. Of course, you know, get your gun out the back of the fucking with, car. With the oh, damn on top. it! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start walking over towards Betty. Okay. Um, she she hears like the, the footfalls weapons. and the crunch of you. She turns, realizes it's you, and then gives you a. What <laughs> <laughs> does that mean? Well, at least she said to be quiet. She she looks worried and she's pointing off, like diagonally in the distance. We will approach her very, very slowly, and I turn to Carly. I'd like both of you guys to roll stealth, please. What? Deck stealth. And then Carlo trips, drops the gun, it fires. <laughs> and <laughs> hits one of the Kills weapons. the camel. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? If you botch, that happens. If oh, you man. shoot the camel, I will kill you. Do it. Botch, 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 botch. Yeah. I've rooted for a lot of botches in, in the past. Never more so than this one. No, I didn't watch. Oh. I got pretty good. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I did pretty good. Oh. Yeah, five successes, yeah. <laughs> I got four. Okay, so you're able to stealthily creep up, and far off in the distance, you can see the flicker of fire, and it looks like a bunch of people standing around talking. I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. If you can see Betty from a mile away, you could see uh, 
you can pick out your coterie members, and it looks like they're just having a nice conversation with a bunch of hobos and their their pet dogs. Oh man, come up and announce yourself as Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, uh, yeah. Oh, this is the man. Ah. <laughs> Shh. This werewolves. Fucking werewolves. Yeah, I ain't seen him transform or nothing, but uh, your buddy Mark, he seemed kind of worried. <laughs> the full moon's out there should be transforming. I don't get this. If he's fucking worried, then I'm for sure fucking worried. We're waiting here for them. Maybe, I don't know, maybe they don't do that. Do they do that? He, you, you've been a vampire longer than either of us, right? Do they do that? I don't know. I never learned that shit in school. <laughs> <laughs> I just learned about being a vampire in school. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about werewolves and vampire school. <laughs> I was <laughs> taking out your problem. <laughs> <laughs> I took, that was a lucky like, course. Don't told me about the vampires and the ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys are finished uh, parlaying with the, the the dust talons, you can uh, you can turn around and see these guys with Betty. I, I, I'm gonna look. My at pale you. face goes paler. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna look at you like you need to get the hell out of here. I'm gonna just <laughs> kind of speed walk over there. <laughs> Your friend seems to be in a hurry. That's the pee. Well, we have business. You know how it is. We don't have a lot of time. The sun comes up. We go. <laughs> All right. So yeah, you you speed walk over in their direction. What the fuck are you two doing here? You fucking told us Those to Those werewolves over there want to kill you. Why the fuck would they call me out by name? <laughs> <laughs> it's a funny story. You're, you're going to laugh at this when you're like 180. <laughs> Can I That's investigate really this? Uh, it, you don't have to roll. It does seem odd that they would know your name. I'm like, Those werewolves over there called you out by name. Apparently something somebody else did has been pinned on you. That seems to be happening a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we're looking for the Gango Primogen, and it would be preferable if at least this part of the group started going that way. I say pointing to the ridge they, the werewolves pointed me at. All right. All right, if you say so. I will, I will say my goodbyes and be on my way. Are you yeah. going to ride the camel? Oska hair is odd. <laughs> the coterie oh, gets together. Master Zahib will be so happy that you're alive. <laughs> Does it speak back to you? It spits at the in the werewolves. <laughs> <laughs> it spits at the fire. It spits at the fire. Fire, <laughs> like, no. are you done as well? Yep. All right, then you can. You guys start heading in that direction. You start going in the direction the werewolf told you and you do see sort of scattered about it does appear to be the hunting grounds of a wild dog of some sort mm-hmm. every once in a while you can see a couple of pups wrestling over here a uh, couple of adults huddled together for warmth sleeping over there I'll, I'll say Betty stay with Skeherazad who's Skeherazad? My lovely camel. <laughs> can't you can't you people give things normal names like like fucking I don't know Jenny? Jenny's a stupid name. <laughs> <laughs> My cousin's named Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> your 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 cousin is not a noble creature such as a camel. <laughs> <laughs> your cousin isn't even worth worth as much as this camel. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. She's kind of a whore. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all understanding right. in his culture, that's worth significantly less camels. <laughs> this is starting to get bit racist. <laughs> <laughs> there is a website where, if you're a girl, you can put in things about you, and it'll tell you in how many camels you're worth in certain cultures. Blue eyes. Three <laughs> camels. <laughs> All right. So, yes, Betty will stay back. Or I would like her to stay back. I don't want her to say something she shouldn't. I'd also like Murphy to stay back. In case he says something he shouldn't. Uh, you do realize you're leaving behind all your animalism people, right? <laughs> <laughs> As I start looking around for a fucking... Hey, oh, there's a camera right here. Please do not <laughs> inject drugs into any of these animal, animals, Firo. They belong to the Gangrel Primogen. Hey, I just got these drugs and I haven't had a fix 
<laughs> Fuck it. So Man, we, it will be your last fix so if we you find out. So we <laughs> either take Murphy and he, he, Let him do what he does without supervision. Or we take Betty and I leave Murphy alone with the camel. I would like to point out that you're talking to one of the primogen and Murphy still has a blood on his head. You know what, fuck it. You just stay here. I'll take the camel with me. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. I'll look for a little rodent. <laughs> we come back, he's getting mauled by coyotes. <laughs> by mountain lion cubs. <laughs> Desperately trying to stick one with the <laughs> He's got them like wrapped around his, his fucking fist like Liam Neeson in the grave. <laughs> Trust me, you'll like this. <laughs> we leave him out in the fucking wilderness for a week. He comes back as the pack master. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> I got all these animals hooked on heroin. <laughs> all they do is mope around. <laughs> but, all right, we'll, we'll kick back if you guys are gonna meet more vampires. I, I assume you'd find it preferable if you didn't die tonight. Hence it's always the, preferable, but... Hence the don't drug any coyotes and probably don't want to meet the gangrel primogen while you have a blood hunt on you. Actually, you should probably just go to your car and leave because we're going to have to... But then where am I going to fit? Am I going to fit in your guys' car with the camel? <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, guys. I feel so... Not what? what? No. You could become Burbank. I feel like if I left, something else would get pinned on me. Uh, the only, he has to do something terrible to switch to Burbank. <laughs> he has to do something terrible to switch to Burbank. Is the issue. There's a camel. He, I have to fail <laughs> humanity ahead? Uh, you don't have to necessarily fail humanity. You just have to do something deplorable. The camel. Put your dick in that camel. I will chop I off a camel? every part of your penis. Uh, you could, uh, Individually. You could use a uh, Pepe for this. Actually. I could use like Pepe a for this. Sausage cooking. <laughs> All right. I uh. It looked like pepperoni. Is it only the Nosferatu who know Pepe Warhol is? Uh, I mean that. I mean, as soon as the Nos- Nosferatu know, anybody who asks for that. Right, but at the same token, uh, knowledge isn't valuable to the Nosferatu, so that <laughs> seems like something they would save for the highest bidder. Hey, I know who Pepe Warhol is. Could, maybe, maybe not. You're not sure. Uh, I guess Pepe Warhol can do this. <laughs> <laughs> it's been so long. <laughs> it's been so long since I've been French. <laughs> it is time. If you need any help tracking the animals, I shall help you. You're just a master of many voices, aren't you, darling? Well, hmm. what the fuck was that? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> oh yeah, there's this beautiful woman following him around that you've never seen before. Oh, that is right, my friends. I forgot to introduce you to the beautiful, the lovely, the voluptuous Sally. <laughs> oh, I'll look and say, GB. I believe you have met. We we are acquainted, yes. This is what you were missing out on. <laughs> <laughs> he puts her hand around her neck and just squishes. <laughs> <laughs> just like he takes it off and just like a long fucking. It breaks it off his skin. He's like thick like, ropey like, strands. <laughs> thick ropey strands <laughs> of skin juice. I don't know. No, she's beautiful. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> she looks beautiful. <clears throat> but it's just an illusion. All the better to hide my uh, my my true identities, my lady. In any case, who are we looking for here? The gangrel primogen. <laughs> it sounds like you don't want my help. It's not that I don't, it's just there's a blood hunt on you. I know this. I want this revolution to start already. But anyway, we can't get it faster, I will help with. Hey, I'm trying to turn over a new leaf as a vampire, as you know. I have no evidence of this. Well, perhaps if I was thought better by my sire, who was also fucking dead. I'm not going to deny that you had a shitty teacher. (laughs) We didn't ask for your life story. 
Let's let's just go find Gangro Ruinjin. Off into the desert. Okay, so you start walking deeper into the, the coyote's territory and all of a sudden you hear the low as one, two, three coyotes start coming out of the uh, the darkness. A fourth one barks over in the corner. Five, six start coming up the ridge. Skahara's a battle motor. Do you know you should pull your scimitar by the power of grace? <laughs> Oh my god. By the power of the heel, I just made him I will stare the closest one in the eye. Yeah, and shut the fuck up. Do you think better than me? <laughs> Spend the blood point to ask it if it thinks it's better than me. <laughs> you don't belong here. Look, little one, we are looking for the gangrel. Your, 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 your master, your master. Mistress says no visitors. That includes you. She will want to see our friends. Please believe me, please. No exceptions. Is he, do we hear him saying like, woof, woof, woof? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is basically but like growling. But in French, though. But in French, <laughs> <laughs> But he, yeah, is he growling in French? Growls in French. Le woof, le woof, le woof, le woof. Le woof, le woof. That's what makes it fresh. You put lead. We. We. As you guys look around, there's about fifteen fucking coyotes just hemming around at this point. Well, I've got six bullets. <laughs> no. uh, the, I looked at my friends. These guys do not want to be around us. It seems like there's no access to her. What would you like me to say? Tell them the werewolves want them out and that if she doesn't come with us, they're going to kill her. Or you can say that there's a meeting of the Primogen. Tell your masters there's a meeting of the Primogen. Also the werewolves. <laughs> also, the werewolves are not happy with their presence here. This one speaks of their kind's politics. Wait here. And one of the larger dogs will sort of like stalk off into the desert. Well, I mean, it's like le woo, because the F is silent, right? Because it's French and it doesn't make any damn sense. <laughs> I have one. God damn it, Bob. Russian Park Ranger. Is that the name of your hat? No, that's what the hat is. It's a Russian Park Ranger hat. Oh. That? No, no. It, it's like green and it has a hammer and sickle and some other weird shit. Okay. I don't think it's a Park Ranger hat. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a Russian Park Ranger hat, so really it's a gulag hat. Oh. That's what they call their parks. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you guys do as you're literally being stared down by like 14 dogs at this point? I'll activate presence again. Okay. I'm not going to spend a willpower on this one. Is what does being bloodbound do? It's too high, right? On um, um, what? On um, like uh, to dominate or to influence supernaturally. Um, I'm going to say you're rolling diff nines for this. Is this considered Elysium? If this was Bloodlines, it would be, but no. Two successes. Two successes. I think that's like four? Uh, I think that's actually six. I just fucking got off the page because I looked up the bestiary, but okay. Let, let's just round up and say four. You get a couple of them, right? And we're like, stand down, stand down. Uh, they'll, they'll, they'll put away their... Their teeth, they're still kind of up on their <laughs> They put it back into their coats. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, they're just entries. Like, <laughs> like. Ah, I see they have a junkie problem, too. A <laughs> couple minutes pass. 
all of a sudden there's this dark shape that appears on uh, one of the rocky outcroppings. And you see Drusilla, fully nude, bathed in the silvery moonlight, staring down at you with utter contempt, these cat-like eyes flashing and glowing in the darkness. You call the Primogen to disturb me here. Tell me why I shouldn't have them rip you apart. Because um, I just got my camel back. <laughs> oh, well, you're not the only Primogen being called. We've sent, been sent here on an errand. An errand by whom? By Louis Fortier. Oh? You and what dealings have you with he? I'm of the Ventru clan. He is the Ventru Primogen. And you think all things bend to you, Ventru? You think all things will cater to your whims? This wild wasteland cares nothing for your boardrooms. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go talk to the werewolf. <laughs> I'm like... I'm gonna go talk to someone who's less up their own ass. <laughs> the werewolves. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't know, those werewolves over there were pretty nice to me. <clears throat> they were cordial. I'm like, I'm not expecting you to bend to my whim or anything. <laughs> well, our kind do suck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can you just maybe a vampire? Um, you know, what <laughs> I have the fur coat already. <laughs> I only need nine more. Are you still holding it? No. I'm, yeah, she's still holding it. I'm not putting it back on until we leave the desert. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell her, it's like, I actually have a very great respect for your kind and your self-sufficiency. However, we are bound to the same government, not that I'm trying to lord anything over you. It's simply a matter of the fact that Don Sebastian has made various grievances, not only against us, but against vampire society in general. Hence, the Venture Primogen, as well as the rest of the Primogens, have decided to gather, and we have been sent here to call you to it. <laughs> Literally everyone else is there. Sent by 40A. Why should I respond to a summons that isn't by the Prince himself? Because the Prince is a tool. <laughs> Because the matter of discussion is about the prince and his ineffectual leadership. Hmm. Very well. I will respond to this lesser summons on one condition. Yes. She turns and looks directly at you. Oh, no. Give me the camel. Camel? Oh. You will give me Murphy Fierro. Oh, okay, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> you grab the camel. <laughs> Don't attempt to lie to me. I know you two were sent out on an errand together by the prince. You were probably the one that saw him last. You and that buffoon that had volunteered himself to lord over you. <laughs> if anyone in this city knows where Murphy Fierro is standing, it's you. You turn him over to me, and I will answer the summons. <laughs> Wait, can we just pause for a second? Bob, I don't know how this happens, but for some reason we always come down to a scenario where everybody else has to sell you out. <laughs> I don't know how that happens. I've done it to a kid. I can do it to this man. <laughs> Can't you? Can't you really? I, I'm, I'm the face I'm of a, really... I'm the poster child of a revolution. <laughs> I'm really trying hard and you'll be to be a martyr. Not to. Yeah, the, there you the, go. The, when you die, this you isn't, you part, this isn't the part where my martyrdom comes. <laughs> My martyrdom comes with a nitroglycerin jacket. God damn. <laughs> if you truly believe that, then I'm sure you'll get out of the situation. <laughs> really? I'm Bob, I'm really trying to find a reason why my character wouldn't tell you about it. Because I will probably make this into a worse situation. <laughs> oh, wow. Are you threatening wow. me? That was a solid response. What's the rebuttal? I will make this worse. <laughs>